Sensor scan to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are at maximum. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish to your energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw it. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David. And joining me today, we have Stuart. Hello. Somewhere. There he is. We have Amy. I'm here. Money all. And we have Eugene. Hello. So, we were hoping to have Scarecrow, but he appears to have broken Skype again. Yay! Um, he may or may not jump in later. Who knows? So, this week we're covering... Actually, no, this week is episode number 96. So, it is the fourth last episode, for those who don't know. Episode 100 is going to be our last of our weekly shows. We're going to be um, slowing down the production of the podcast a bit. And doing effectively movie reviews only when the big movies drop and some post-con stuff and that sort of thing. If there's run some... out of stuff to talk about. <laughs> yeah, we kind of ran out of stuff to talk about a little bit. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. This week we're doing the last of our top fives because they've become a tradition for the first week of the month and we couldn't do it last week, so we'll do it this week. And a little bit later on, if we have the time, we're going to also have a look at the Rogue One trailer. So we didn't get a chance to do that last week, and it looks freaking amazing. So, let's get this thing started. Top five sci -fi, uh, superhero battles. Uh, where's my list gone? There it is. Okay. Um, I think. Let's kick it off with number five. Now, my list is in no particular order, so I'm going to start mine off with a very silly one. The... Guardians of the Galaxy versus Ronan, specifically the dance off. Eh, I don't know if you call that a battle, really. Well, it is sort of a battle, but yeah, it is kind of funny. <laughs> it's more 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 for the hilarious value than anything else. The rest of my fights are actual fights, but um, yeah. I'll give you that. So moving right along, we have Stuart. Uh, so yeah, my number five, sorry about my voice, I had a bit of a big weekend, so I may cut in and out. It's still repairing a bit. That's what he gets uh, for being a vocalist for a really weird band that nobody knows. Uh, my number five is going to be Wonder Woman vs. Aquaman from Flashpoint. Wonder Woman vs. Aquaman. Oh. Does he just send fish so this is this and say this is very fishy? So this is this is from the Flashpoint movie, so the animated movie based on the comics, obviously. Where uh, basically it's uh, Aquaman has declared war on the land, on anyone that's on land, basically. So it's like sea versus land. Okay. And I'm, ultimately, I'm, I'm, he gets the, the, his head how? chopped off. How does he? How does he even do that? Because he's like ridiculously powerful in the water, but as soon as he sets foot on land. The list of his abilities diminishes to can talk to fish. Uh, does he wear like a fight? does he work like a wear like a reverse space suit where it's full of water and he can keep his power? No, or, no, that's really no, no. weird. Have you never seen it? No, I haven't. Yeah, well, really should. Be on your next, they'll be on Real your good next. Yeah, I'll have to look it up. Um, so that's so, one of these things we all the learned. I made movie. Flashpoint anime movie is literally probably the best DC animated movie there. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely have to check it out at JB Hi-Fi. Um, JB Hi-Fi, not a sponsor of this web podcast, but still the <laughs> best place in Australia to buy all sorts you of random said shit. Web, you almost said website, didn't you? Yeah, I'm yes. <laughs> a little bit. I'm tired, okay? It's been a long week at my work, and I really just want to stab somebody. So I decided to do a podcast yes. and throw Stuart out the airlock. Bye, Stuart. Bye. He's gone. Then you have to do the news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it makes a noise now whenever I ha whenever I throw someone out the airlock. Yep. Silly Skype and its silly updates, <laughs> making noises when it shouldn't. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Amy, what's your number five? 
Um, mine's actually going to be a Young Justice one. Yep. A battle that Young Justice against all of the light. Okay. Um, I'm sort of noticing a, a, a DC theme forming already. The, the, <laughs> wait, rephrase. DC animated theme forming because, yeah, this animated DC stuff is spectacular. Continue. Um, they the joke is controlling plants that are taking over the world, so it's a big mix between all the injustice or light, whichever ones you want to call it, at the time, and the yeah. So the Joker and Poison Ivy teamed up, and yeah, let's put it this way: um, Robin blew up um, the main plant. With all his little um, boomerangs. Robin orangs? Yep. Sweet. They're all flashing, so they go boom. Nice. So, okay, as always, Eugene has a special barrel delivered to him every time we do one of these lists. And he's got the scooper, he's rattling around the bottom. What have you found? Uh, from Daredevil, we have the fight between Daredevil and, and uh, Bullseye. Uh, the Netflix or the movie? Because I can't remember the movie. The Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck movie. Oh, the movie, yeah. Cool. Because I've totally deleted that from my brain, so I'm like, did that happen in the movie? I don't remember <laughs> if that happened in the movie. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Was it as bad as Mr. Burns' thrashing of a lifetime? <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um... It was bad. Yeah. There's a reason I've deleted it from my brain. Okay, let's move on to number four. We'll start with Amy. Uh, there's so many to pick from. <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, um, battle. Okay, you picked the dance off. Here's a battle that isn't actually a battle. Oh, God. It's the latest. I'll explain in a second. It's the latest um, Justice Justice League versus Teen Titans okay. movie. Um, the main battle is actually against Tron. Tron, as in the Raven's father. Who? I was going to say Tron, as in, as in the, 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 the bikes made of light and in a computer? I'm confused. Uh, no. <laughs> no? Raven, the main battle's against Raven's father. Oh! But this is actually... Um, yeah, Trigon. I'm with you. I thought you said Tron. Trigon. Was, yeah. I did, but that's fine. Um, it's actually not a battle. It's actually a dance-off, actually, between Beast Boy and uh, Damien. First time Damien's ever seen a de DDR machine. <laughs> oh god, Pat. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Uh, so, anyway, uh, my number two is the uh, number we're two. Actually at number four. Shut up, my number four. <laughs> I'm, I'm awake, I swear. Number four, second from the bottom, okay, is. Um, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman versus Doomsday from Batman versus Superman. Now, admittedly, the majority of that fight was fairly average, but when the Wonder Woman theme kicked in, it was friggin' epic. So that Wonder Woman theme is... Oh, oh. I know. It's... It's... Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, anyway. It's Broken Mean Stuart. That's how good it is. Um, so, yeah. So, that was my number four. It doesn't really deserve to be too much higher because it's a was a fairly sort of predictably sort of fight but at the same time it had moments that were just purely spectacular so Stuart what do you have for number four um I'm not sure if this is gonna count or not but I just wanted to put it in just for the sheer hilariousness that ha that ensued with this episode oh god but it's the Power Rangers in Space versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay. That is yeah. the sound of Stuart being thrown out the airlock, just for those who are wondering. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
it's uh, I'll be it's okay. I'll beam him back on board. There we go. He's back. Um, I deserve that. <laughs> you really did. Um, no explanation. That that is your number four. It's done. It's out of the way. Moving on, Eugene. What have you scooped out this time? From Green Lantern, the fight between Green Lantern and Parallax. No. Oh. Is th- that whole movie was horrendous. Yeah. Yeah. The age old meme. The said it is. <laughs> the age old meme. If you don't die young, you live long enough to become a better superhero. That's why he's now Deadpool. But that means he died. <laughs> no, no. Technically. If, if you don't die young, you live long enough to become a better superhero. So you got Ben Affleck was Daredevil, which was horrible. Now he's Batman, which is actually pretty cool. You've got um, I can't think of the guy's name. I know it; it's at the tip of my brain, but I can't think of it. Stuart. Oh, Chris Evans. Yeah, him. Because it's originally is originally um, um, Human Torch. Yeah, and now he's Captain America. So yeah, it's, it's there's a long list of sort of. I almost said Firestorm. Like, like, no, that's not the right one. Yeah, that's the wrong, totally wrong universe. Um, okay, so moving on to um, number three, I guess. Yeah, number three. Okay, I, I'm I'm mathing. Okay, I'm mathing. The mathing is working. <laughs> yes, <laughs> math. Anyway, um, number three. I will let Stuart go first this time. All right, uh, my number three is also from Young Justice, and it's actually the Young Justice versus the Justice League. Ooh. Which time? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when they're when they're um like season one when they're um brainwashed by uh, Vandal Savage. Oh, that one. Yeah, that's sort of one way to deal with the issue. Just, just, just sort of seeing Robin just sort of in that battle pose against Bruce is like, oh, let's see if the student has become the master. The answer is always no. <laughs> well, he, okay. To put it lightly, he knocked him out. That was the whole point. Oh, he knocked, he, he knocked him out, yeah. But, but before that, oh. He was ragdolled yeah. quite considerably. He, needed... he was ragdolled more than than a, than a Spartan suit in Halo Ridge. Yeah. They needed um, Superboy to actually knock out Batman and Superman. No surprise but, there. But uh, come on, the way they knocked out Superman was, oh look, kryptonite. I have some... <laughs> kryptonite in my I pocket. stole kryptonite from the Bat Vault. That's what the, it was. Yeah, the nearly impenetrable Bat Vault. Uh. Bat Vault. Uh, Amy, what's your number three? I had thought of uh, another one, but I realised I've already used that um, movie. Because yep. of what... Um, the, the, the rules are always you're only allowed one per... Yeah, I know, no, that's why I can't use daily. it. I'll mention it, but it's not my number three. It's the same as um, Stuart, but in the... In the Batman vs. Super um, Young Justice, the yeah, how they battled that. <laughs> um, Stuart, mine would actually be. Stuart, Stuart, can you translate Amy into English for a split second there? <laughs> <laughs> all I got out of that is from Young Justice. Okay. It's all I the got. sorry, Teen Titans vs. the Justice League, the the battle, be- um, the bloody hell. The episode how they just pulled his, uh, D- Damien pulled um, the Kryptonian out of his pocket and stabbed it into Superman's side. So I swear, the robbers just like, always end up stealing Kry- Kryptonite from bats. <laughs> well, what else are you meant to do against a Superman? <laughs> Fair point. Okay, Amy, number three. Um, it's actually going to be the first. Uh, major battle in the Arrow universe. Huh. Like uh, Dark Archer? Yeah. So back when he fought Merlin? Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, that was a good fight. Um, and it's not a rinse and repeat. 
like it like it has been for the last four years. All right, so my number three would be Teen Titans versus Trigun in Teen Titans. That fight, um, where he creates duplicates of them and then they realise that they can't actually defeat themselves, but what they can do is easily kick each other's ass, so they do that. And then when they I all have get... so much fun doing that. <laughs> yeah. Then when they all sort of get together and use Raven's um, charm attack to, to take him down was pretty fucking cool. Um, so yeah. Was it Azeroth Metreon Synthos or some shit like that? Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Pretty much. That, yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's one of my favourite moments in Teen Titans. It's all sort of downhill from there. Um, so, uh, that's all of... Uh, okay, Eugene, what have you found in the barrel? Because I was just thinking, I'm making sure that I did Amy and Stuart for number three. <laughs> Woo! Oh, uh, let's... From that from that award winning film Batman and Robin, oh god, Batman versus Mister Freeze. Oh god. Uh, it, when even Arnie says, "I wish I could forget a movie," you know it's pretty bad, and he's done some pretty bad shit. But wow. On the plus side, they didn't break in a song and dance, so at least it's not nineteen sixties Batman bad. So, moving right along to number two. Number two. Uh, number two for me. Oh man, I had so many cool fights to choose from. Yeah. See, me, I'm going for more of a Marvel sort of spin because I enjoy the Marvel stuff better than the DC stuff, but the DC stuff, animated wise, is better. And that's why I'm leaving that one for Stuart and Amy because I know how much they love those that stuff. So, for me, for I'm going with the. Um, airport fight in Captain America Civil War. Now, that to me is just a fun fight all around from start to finish. And I can't wait to get the Blu-ray for that and watch that battle over and over and over and over. True. I'm still, I'm confused as to why Stark didn't bring down the Hulkbuster suit when Ant-Man went giant man. He's like, right, you got a big suit? I got a big suit. It's not quite as big as you, but it's still pretty damn big. Because he probably did, hasn't repaired it for the last time he used it. Probably. And with Hulk <laughs> missing, it's probably not a high priority. Yeah. No. It's no point of bringing that out. Because it's meant for Hulk. Battle Hulk. Exactly. Okay, so... Amy, what's your number two? Mine's actually going to be the first Avengers battle. The first, uh, which first it's, Avengers battle? The battle against um, Loki? Loki. Yeah. I especially love when the Hulk gets to Loki. Yeah. <laughs> Pure God. <laughs> I'm not yeah. God, you insufferable Will. And you a bow before me. Picks him up, just ragdolls him. Pure God walks away. <laughs> and he's just like... <laughs> I wonder how many reshoots that took to do. Oh. Have you seen the... Oh, God, seriously, they must have so much fun doing that. Oh, yeah. Have you seen the deleted scenes for that? It's just him laying there going... <laughs> 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 just breaking out into laughter. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, man. That's... Yeah. Oh, the original... Dude, I, I'd, I'd love so to see... Fun. I'd love to see the bloopers for Suicide Squad. <laughs> I'd love to see oh. the Joker's deleted scenes. Because apparently he's yes. got, like, hours of deleted scenes. And he's, like, really pissed about, sort of, them being cut. Um, okay, Stuart, what's your number two? Uh, my number two, I'm actually going to go live action for this, but still sticking on DC. Flash versus Reverse Flash Season 1, uh, like, the end of... Uh, Flash season one on the TV show on so, the CW. So it was Flash, Reverse Flash, Arrow, and Atom. Uh, no, no, not Atom. Firestorm. Firestorm. Okay, yeah. Firestorm. Yeah, it was Firestorm. Yeah, it was Firestorm. It was Firestorm. Yeah, it was Firestorm. Uh, it, was, it was Ronnie at the time before they changed it. Yeah. But just, just as like, because I was. Because I knew there was going to be a team-up for it. I was like, how are they going to explain the Oliver Queen gone evil thing? 
Yeah. So. Just, just I love. I've always loved the slow mo fighting. Of this of speedsters. It's like they're running really fast, but for us to see it, they slow it down, and it's just like it's so cool to watch. Oh yeah. And such bad CG. <laughs> it's a TV show. I know. It's a, I was about to say, it's a TV show. I can forgive it. What I can't forgive is some of the visual effects from the the X-Men movie, where he's taking people out of that building. and Some of it looks... Oh, like, what oh. he does to him. Some of it looks, Why he's taking them out. Yeah. Some of it looks literally as bad as the Flash TV show. And I'm just like, really? 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 <laughs> anyway... Um, Eugene, you you got to scrape pretty low to get number two. What'd you find? Fantastic Four 2005. The Fantastic Four versus Doctor Doom. Oh, the, the, the one where it's like, oh yeah, let's science the shit out of this. I know. Heat him up really hot, and now quick, cool him down, and now he's frozen solid in metal. Haha. Take that. Mm-hmm. It's like... How's that meant to yeah. work? It's like, um, you just flat out murdered your enemy. Flat out, broad daylight, murdered your enemy. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... Well, actually, yep. then again, you think about sometimes when Batman beats the crap out of some of his enemies, you wonder, how on earth aren't they dead? <laughs> oh, he has got a list of bodies behind him. Like, he's just a wall of bodies. Yeah, I know. But still, some of the other ones... Like, the main enemies, you go, how on earth are they not dead? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. Okay. Um. Then again, so is, how is Batman not dead? <laughs> yeah. So, then we have... Um, moving on to the number ones, I guess. Who wants to go first? It's the last number one yeah. you get to the list, so I'll let somebody choose. You can go first. Okay, I'll go first. Okay, yep. for, for me, the number one on my list is the finale in Big Hero 6. Because it's got a Stargate. It's Stargates <laughs> are cool. Are you in freaking Stargates? <laughs> Does that really surprise you? It really shouldn't. But yeah, no, that, no. that, that battle was really cool. Um, each character sort of learn how to use their abilities in a new and in hilarious way. Um, and they fought together and eventually saved the day from the bad guy, which was the good guy, but turned out to be the bad guy. So, Amy, what's your number one? Um, I was actually thinking the Thor, the original Thor movie, the first one. Yeah? Or the trilogy. Yeah. Just the battle. <laughs> you just go, really? The battle The battle against what? Which part? The battle against the giant robot motherfucker? Yeah. Or the battle against Loki? Battle against the giant robot. The giant robot, yeah. The giant robot was one of those moments of, um, okay, now what the hell do we do? <laughs> then again, my favourite part is Darcy actually tasing Thor. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> Of course, of course, you got to give props to Hulk when he grabs Loki and just starts whipping him back and forth. Puny God. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Stuart, what have you got at number one? Number one? Oh, that's easy. Civil War fights. The Civil War airport fight scene is my number one. You can't have that as your number one. I had it as my number two. Ha ha, choose another. Fine. Uh, what have I got? I've got like a list, so I'll just choose one <laughs> of the list. I knew he would be ready for honourable mentions. <laughs> um, I don't know if I can call it a superhero fight, but I'm gonna do it anyway. The uh, the stairwell fight from Daredevil season two. That was pretty cool. That was <laughs> that really was cool. just. The whole just one camera, like a couple, there were a couple of cuts in it, but the, just the camera being lowered down through the center of the stairwell is just, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that 
That is some cinema. That is some beautiful cinematography. Oh yeah, and the cor- the choreography for the fight is just, Mwah. Oh yeah. So, um, Eugene, you've scraped the bottom. You've found the sludge. What is it? Fantastic Four twenty fifteen. Oh, the God. Fantastic Four versus Doctor Doom. <laughs> and we oh, give a nice. Round, we give a nice round of applause to Fox. We're screwing up the fight between the Fantastic Four and Doctor Doom. Not once, but twice. <laughs> Come so, on, they could probably screw so it up true. that eight times and still screw it up. I try to forget that I watched that. Yeah, in that's, the cinema. Yeah, well, we reviewed it on the podcast, so... You never ever make me do that again. I'm blaming Michael. Just flat out blaming Michael. And, and I do have one dishonorable mention... Oh. Uh, well, we're just about to shift to honorable mention, so let's start with the dishonorable mention then. Spider Man 2, Spider Man versus Electro. Electro, yeah. No one liked that fight. So. Um, okay. See, just... my dishonorable mention is Spidey 3. Just the whole movie is dishonorable. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mentioned my dishonorable mention earlier, which is 1960s Batman Dance Off. It's, it's 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 campy. It's weird. It's what the hell am I watching? It's the sixties. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> All right. Um, let's move on to honorable mentions. Iron Man versus Thor. <laughs> that's that's still one of the 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 best fights around. Um. Oh. You guys, got, I know Stuart's I'm gonna got a go, list, so I'm just going to let Stuart read his list and see if I agree with any of them. Because he's got about. Um, I'm going to go animated so. from. Mar- I'm going to go animated from Marvel on this one, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, ever heard of a thing called Avengers: The Next Generation, or it's like the next, the next Avengers? It was like all the yes. Avengers kids. Yeah, just that fight scene at the end with Ultron, where it's like old Bruce Banner turns into Hulk, is like really cheesy. The only way that could be funny is if old Bruce Banner turns into old Hulk and he just sort of casually hobbles forwards with a f- giant. Oh, he's kind of got like gray. Ha- he's got like gray hair and stuff. So it's like oh. all the others are gone. The only ones that are left out of the originals is Tony and and Bruce. Yeah, and Tony raised all the children. <laughs> yeah, that's terrifying, isn't it? Oh yeah. All right. So, any other honorable mentions? Dishonorable mentions? Noteworthy things before uh, we move on to the Rogue One trailer. Oh yeah, um, I got a animated uh, Marvel one. Yep. Where all the superheroes, all the Avengers, except for Natasha, turns into a Hulk. Oh God, Ooh. that was. <laughs> that sounds oh, I... the derp like the derpiest thing that ever derped across the derp. I tried to forget <laughs> about that. Yeah. <laughs> They okay. Um, one of their enemies decided it was a great idea to try <laughs> um, turn them all against each other because you know how well in control they think the Hulk is. Yeah. Turns out he's very much in control. <laughs> if he wasn't, yeah. Let's put it this way: the world is doomed. Oh yeah. The Hulk is one of those characters that even Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet's like, yep, nope, not touching that. <laughs> so um, Thanos at the height of it, when Thanos at the height of his power looks at you and goes, yeah, no, just no, just 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 no. You know that you've got s- some stupid amount of juice. <laughs> well, they, they, he actually had built a machine to actually. Take the Hulkness out of, out of them. Oh, okay. Basically, it sucks up the gamma the gamma waves, and they pull it in everyone else. Huh. Yeah. That somehow sounds derpier. I don't. Oh. Know. Just, just imagine Captain America Hulk. Yeah, no, not gonna happen. <laughs> so anyway, uh, any more mentions at all? No. Yes. Nope. Uh. Uh, I've got to remember the actual fight now. 
Uh, I'm going like Batman the original animated series, so like it's a good series. Yeah. Very good um, series. It's a fantastic series, seriously. Um, uh, it was Batman vs. Oh, jeez, I've got to remember the actual fight. Batman vs. Uh, Ra's al Ghul in, in the desert. Okay. It was like a really aw- uh, basically um, it's sort of like similar to like it's sort of self the, the Talia um love stories thing that eventually led to. Okay, so what is what, it's born? It, so what you're saying is Damien. it's a the Batman and Ra's al Ghul make out in the desert as if it's a fight scene and it leads to Damien. <laughs> no, no, I, no, no, no. Basically, it's like Ra's trying to get Batman to come back to the league and Batman no. saying no, so they have this big fight. Oh, okay, cool. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, let's move on to the Rogue One trailer. I've dropped the link in the chat oh. for the literal zero listeners oh, we have. Oh, there was a disturbance in the force. Oh, yeah. We'll put it this way. This was released... Um, when was it? The 11th. It was like... So oh, we got it. Yeah. So five, effectively five days ago this dropped. It has already got, on the official Star Wars YouTube channel, 15.6 million views. With 220,000 thumb ups and 8,000 thumb downs. So, effectively, 220 awesome people and it's effectively 7,700 virgins. Oh, it's true and they know it. I figure, uh, I figure we've only got four episodes left. I've got to offend as many people as I possibly can. Oh god, this won't end well. <laughs> But no, seriously, this trailer was, was fantastic. The music, the music is what I keep coming back to. Oh yeah. So anyway, let's kick it off. We see a long shot of a city on top of a plateau-y dealy. With TIE Fighters and... I think that, um... There was, they were talking about a new planet, it was called, um... It was basically like Jedi, but it's about like... G-E-D... G-E-D-I-H. So it just had a silent H at the end of it. Okay. And it's like a super sen- uh, it's supposed to be, it's meant to be like a super sensitive force sensitive planet so oh, okay um so, so let me get cause to... I cuz I know the death star is powered by carbon crystals so I'm guessing there's like a mining depot that the empire has it's just spamming carbon carbon crystals to power the death star yeah well I, I'm, my understanding was the death star was powered by one ridiculously massive crystal uh, it's like it was like one. It was a big one, but they were made. It was made up of tiny of tiny little ones. Okay. So they sort of gaffer taped it all together and we went, "Yep, nailed it. This works." <laughs> so. The world is coming undone. So we get to see, um, this desert world with a fortress on top of a plateau, which looks really cool. It's the sort of thing that you would never ever be able to actually take without from the ground. So. Yeah. Uh, see, when I first saw when I first saw the pla- the plateau with the star destroyer over top, you just see one building sticking up, and I, I, in my head I was like, "Is that a temple?" Yeah. Like it looks like a Jedi temple. Imperial flags. Rain. They originally probably was, but now no more Jedi's. So yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm actually playing it with a little bit of audio. Like the other can guys can hear it. without your shackles. Okay, so can you be trusted without your shackles? So we're up to the part where she's. Let's just get this over with, shall we? She's in a room full of green, glowy lights. The... <laughs> Seriously, they really do like their green neons. Yeah, they do. And they're random. Uh, round interesting tables. thing about this, actually. Yep. Um, there's an international trailer that got dropped today. Really? And it, it yeah, yeah, yeah. As... And um, in it. Um, it has a couple extra scenes that we didn't get in the in the one that was dropped Friday. Yep. So. Um, and it says we we received an encrypted message from your father. Ooh. And I'll come back to that later because there's a point in the trailer I want to there's a part of the trailer I want to point out, which I think I have a theory for already. Okay. Cool. Well, we're up to the part where they're standing at the round table and Mon Mothma. Yes, it's it's um 
the young mummy? Yeah, it's Mon Mothma. The actress that they got is the one who was uh, Mon Mothma in episode three. Sweet. We've been missing for you. Because obviously the original Mon Mothma is a little kind of gone. Way. Yeah. And admittedly, the Star Destroyer peering out of the shadow of the oh, disc. Oh, God. Yeah. And you see the disc Just going seriously. in. You see the Star Destroyer is parked around. It's like, holy crap, that thing is huge. I, I, I honestly forget sometimes how, how incredibly big everything is in Star Wars. Oh, yeah. But this is just make it. Oh, I forgot how big you are. Yeah. So we see her jump in a. I'm assuming that's her dad. Or... Oh no no no! That's um that's not her dad. That's no, uh, Diego's Luke. No no the guy uh, that character. the guy that's watching the the plane take off. Oh no no no! I think that's the, the guy who's uh, no no. I think that's the shackles guy. Okay. Because her father actually works for the Empire at this point. May have just kind of spoiled the part of the movie. Yeah. The rebellion for a long time. Also, new ship. It's called a U-wing. Yay! Destroyed our... It's a transport. It's a transporter. Yeah, and now we move on to the former clone badasses. Is what it looks like. At least I don't think they're clones, but they look. They're definitely oh, uh, deleting. Uh, Donnie de Yen's characters and stuff. Yeah, they're deleting the fucking stormtroopers. That's for sure. So yeah, Donnie Yen's character in this is force sensitive, and we know Vader's in it. So yeah, we please just let those two go at each other. Oh yeah, I, I because he's never seen in another movie after this. I'm I, I, fairly confident in him. saying that Vader deletes him. Well, considering we don't see any of them, I think yeah. it's fairly confident saying Vader's just going to go on a murder spree. Oh yeah. And that twenty foot tall droid. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's um that's voiced by Alan Tudyk. Yeah. And then you've got uh, the I'm upside down Death Star say, blocking I'm up the sun. I'm kind of sad it cool. didn't say meatbag. <laughs> oh god. I just want one Star Wars droid that's canon to say meatbag, and I'll be happy. Uh... Anyway, so you see the Death Star Dude, blocking the... up the sun. Oh my god, that 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 is that point in the trailer where I pause it and go on You're all gonna die. Yeah. And then we see um the Admiral guy from the uh, do, uh his name is Director Kranick, uh he's played by Ben Mendelssohn. Yeah. The dude in the white suit. Mendel Mendelssohn looks so much like Tarkin, it's cool. Yeah. Like if they wanted to, to do like a young Tarkin movie, just just get Mendelssohn to do it. Oh yeah, it's too late now. He's already been cast, but there's something else. But yeah, no. I wonder the the part of the trailer where Donnie Yen just sort of turns around is like I wonder if that's when he can like know where that's where Vader is. Yeah. So, X-Wing's buzzing through a valley, a rocket trying to take a chunk See? out of an at, -AT. For all the people that says X-Wings can't fly in, on planets. No, no. Stuff you all. X-Wings are really good at flying in atmosphere. We saw that. We know that. The, the TIE Fighters, on the other hand, really shouldn't be able to fly in atmosphere. <laughs> so... What is crashing to the that planet that they're flying away underneath? Is I'm not sure. Would it be a I've star? I've been trying star? to analyze that. I think it might be just from the shape. I've been trying to. It's like one of the things I can't pick up out of it that I've been trying to overanalyze. It's like what is it? Yeah. It could be. Um, I know in the early years of the Empire, they did before the Death Star was functional. They did have planet destroyers. Yeah. So it could be one of those. So, and you see her hobbling away towards a TIE fighter. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the part I wanted to bring up. Yep. Have I mentioned earlier that her father was the one who sent the encrypted message? Yeah. I think that's her father flying the TIE, uh, the TIE fighter. So do I. I was about to say the same thing. Um, I think that's, that's, that's her escape route. Yeah, and then, so, she's on board a dropship of some description, full of people. 
Yeah, that's that's the that's in the um U wing. Yeah, and then we have the moment that made Stuart have to clean himself. Oh, dude, I I I I, I got to the end of the channel. I'm like, ah, oh, this is not going to be any Vader. But I just hear, I'm like, yes! Yeah. <laughs> ah, Vader. I don't I don't need much. I really don't need much. No, he doesn't need, need much breathing. He doesn't need much stimulation to get there. Jody knows. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Uh, so, anyway, uh, the Rogue One trailer looks spectacular, and we will definitely be doing a bonus podcast when Rogue One comes out. I can guarantee I, you I, that. Need, I need to get... I, I, I swear to God, I need a Rebel Soldier after for Rogue One now. Oh, yeah. Just goes Captain Boomerang. you're going to pick Fluffy Unicorn. Oh, no, I was still going to get Fluffy Unicorn for Boomerang. <laughs> Speaking of which, I was at my cube. I think they saw some there. Ooh. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, Eugene, your store is still sort of uh, work in progress at the moment. Do you have a model report for us this week? Or, uh, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll just mention that there is a Russian company that is doing 1 16th scale oh, uh, human figures that are based on some sort of zombie story. Uh, these are very nicely detailed. Um, I don't have a whole lot of details on these. I'm trying to get more. I do know they retail for about $25, and they come packaged in what looks like old VHS boxes. Fair enough. Um, they... There was three figures in the series one, and there's three more in series two, and they are plastic figures. Nice. Um, yeah, the de the detailing for how big they are really looks fantastic. Um, I'll try and get more information and put it up on the podcast page. Sounds good. Um, so, I guess it's even though it's twenty minutes left. Stuart, do you want to do the news? Yes. It's been a while so, since I've uh, actually given you a decent amount of time to do the news. I know, it's great. <laughs> I could actually cover so, yeah. the news and do my job properly. <laughs> so, I just, just before so, you yeah, get started, I'm got I, the right... before you get started, I just want to oh. say something really quickly. I linked in the Skype and in the chat um, for the podcast a link to a Pokemon Go clone which is the derpiest oh, looking God. thing you've ever seen. Have a look. Have a look at that. It is horrible. Nightmare fuel. I was going, I was going to say before um, we went to the news, yep. to check up the sci-fi webpage and to, if you'd like to sign up. Oh, yes, the to newsletter. To get the emails. Yes. To get the uh, newsletters. Yes, that's right. Save Sci-Fi is now running a newsletter, which we will send out. Um, because the way that Facebook doesn't show any of our posts to most people, um, and then demands like thousands of dollars off us because apparently we're made of money in order for people to see our posts, we've decided to start a newsletter. Um, so what it'll do is it'll give you links to quite a few of our recent posts. Um, so you can sort of keep in touch, keep up to date and all that sort of stuff. And with the, the podcast sort of going into semi-retirement, it's a be a good way to keep up to date on all of the different sci-fi related stuff. So, yeah. Good work, Amy. I was doing that this morning. <laughs> so, Stuart, do the news thing. Alright, so yeah, um, obviously we got the Rogue One trailer on Friday, but Saturday we got some really devastating news that R2 has died. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's really that hits sad. Home. That, that hits home. It really does. Um, yeah, I forgot I was going to dedicate this episode to him. I'm a horrible, horrible person. I deserve to be airlocked. Sort of hard to. <laughs> we can't kick you out. No, because then the, 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 the call dies and then there goes the rest of the news. <laughs> yep. Anyway, so yeah, that was carry on. that was sad. <laughs> that that was like that. It kind of hit hard for me. I was like, 
cartoon. No. There's all sorts of memes popping up about it now. Um, yeah. Oh, no, no. Keeping keeping on Star Wars and, um, and memes. Angry Michael Phelps. Oh, God. So, uh, this, is, this has been floating around, and I love this to death. It is basically just Michael Phelps with his concentration face on, like game face. But he looks so angry, so people have just made Star Wars memes where he's like on Palpatine's head and he's like, do it. Well. Actually, really quickly. Or, or, um, or they superimpose him onto Anakin's body as he's killing younglings in the Jedi Temple. Well. Uh, so we need, to, we need to do a sci-fi Olympics. And come up with half a dozen different sci-fi things that... Well, Jedi's would clearly win the high jump. Yeah. <laughs> that would be cheating. I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure the Wraith would give them a run for their money. They can jump pretty high. Bar- Barry would win the 100 metres. <laughs> yeah. Well, then... He, he, would, he, he would win the 100 metres in literally a flash. But um. But then again, if you put all the speedsters to race against each other. If you put all the speedsters together, Barry still wins. And the Kryptonians. Still wins. Barry's way faster than Clark and, and Kara, so... Yeah. Um, so... Um, some good Star Wars news. Yep. Uh, so John Williams uh, did a concert over the weekend... With the Boston Symphony Orchestra, I believe. Nice. And midway through the concert, um, he told fans that he's about to start scoring Episode Eight. Nice. Now here's here's where it gets interesting because rumors have really started to become rampant ever since he said that that um, Episode Eight is going to go back to its May um, opening release. Oh. Because I... if he's because if he's scoring it, they can't be too far off from finishing it. Well, you'd be surprised. Scoring isn't necessarily the last step in movie production. No, but it is one of the last few steps. Oh, yeah. Like visual and effects we are, is well, still the big thing. Yeah, but I don't think it's going to take them a year to do that. They, were, they started doing that back in back in June, so... Yeah, fair point. So. Again, they could, but I just think, especially because next year is the 40th anniversary... So what I've, what I've been hearing is that they may push it back to um, May and do it like a couple of days after the 40th anniversary. That'd be pretty cool. They may, they may keep it to release for the 40th anniversary. 40th yeah. anniversary. And this all, uh, that part's all rumours, but it's definitely confirmed that John Williams is doing the music for episode 8, which makes me really happy. Oh yeah. There's very few things that make Stuart quite as happy as that. I could just, I could seriously just listen to a, a CD of all of John's, John Williams' music. Intercut Brain and Blue with Darth Vader's breathing. <laughs> Next to um, oh, so yeah, um, there, well, this is interesting, uh, ever heard of Pokemon Uranium? Oh, yes, yes, I didn't actually get that down, every time I tried, the server had crashed. So yeah, uh, so this is a fan-made Pokemon game. That Nintendo have decided to cut to cut it down. Oh yeah, it. But admittedly, it did get what 15 million downloads or something ridiculous. Uh, 1.5, 1.5 million 5, downloads. 1.5 million downloads before Nintendo went. Eh, you know what? You don't get a piece of this pie, smush. But it's. It, it's I'm all surprised it managed to get that far. Yeah. But the thing was, the oh, guys so they that made cut it watched that ages ago. Yeah, the guys that got it never actually got a cease and desist notice about it. It was the no. pages that were doing the download support were the ones that got the cease and desist notices, not them. That makes no sense. So, the, the places that they'd uploaded it to, because technically, making it for your own use is different to making it and sharing it. Like, you could make it for, they could make that and play it themselves, and it's fine. Well, relatively. You make it and you share it non-profit that's a little bit grey zony but if the web pages that are hosting it have ads and are making revenue from the page that you're downloading it from then that is very much a netty no-no so yeah 
that's what it boils down to. So yeah. Uh, got, some, type Pokemon. got some That's Justice hilarious. League, um, got some Justice League movie, um, movie news. Yep. Uh, so, uh, Henry Cavill, who we know as Superman, yep, is teasing the 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 uh, black costume that Superman wears. Ooh. So yeah, um, obviously we know he dies at the end of Batman vs Superman. The black outfit, um, came, um. In the comic book series, The Death and Return of Superman story arc, which was back in 92 and 93. Yep. Um, so what happened, um, obviously he comes, um, he gets revived and stuff. Um, his, so his body was slowly being restored by regeneration chamber stored in the Fortress of Solitude. And the black suit was something the Fortress robots put on him while he was recovering. Okay. And the reason why he's t- it, uh, people are speculating this is that uh, Henry Cavill on his Instagram has uh, put up a photo. It's just like a black armor, and the caption is hashtag Superman. Nice. So that, and so also in that, he'll, black Superman also has long hair. So that will be interesting. Oh yeah. Now is it a wig, or is he actually grown his hair out that long? <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to know. <laughs> yeah, so, so um, have you guys, have you guys heard of a Netflix show called Stranger Things? No. Dude, you should. It's, like, really amazing. Yep. Like, it's actually fantastic. But, um, it's actually got more watches on it than than all of Daredevil. Wow. It is actually bigger than Daredevil on Netflix. That's impressive. Which is a big... Yeah. That's a big scalpel. Yeah. Um, how, how much more news you got... Uh, just trying to find stuff that's um relevant. <laughs> okay, cool. So everything's just all about like figurines and Arkham VR and stuff. So yeah, right, cool, cool. Well, then let's move on to the Sci-Fi Olympics. I've got a list of the Olympic sports in front of me, and we've only got a couple of minutes, so we'll make this as quickly as make this as quick as possible. Um, who do we think would win the following events? Archery. Um, that would be Ooh. an interesting one. I think Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be... yeah, I think Hawkeye would win. Just, just because I've watched the Hawkeye vs. Green Arrow death battle, so... Fair enough. Um, okay. Um, artistic oh, gymnastics. Dick... Robin. Dick Grayson. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it'd be between well, there Dick is a male and Natasha. There's a, female, there's a male and female, so... No, 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 in this, there is no... The, the, the genders are, are equal. Because in superheroes, oh, okay. there's no segregation, so... It'd be between Dick and Natasha, really. Yeah. Okay. Athletics, a.k.a. running. <laughs> uh, Barry. Barry? Yeah, yeah. There flashes. We... Flash? Okay. Here's the thing. Barry can literally wow. make a... Dem- a, a, um, a a speed force dimension where everyone slows down and he's just running at normal pace. So he could just lock them in there and then win the race. Okay. Badminton. That's cheating. I, I, I vote oh. Thor for badminton. 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 Thor. I see. I was gonna go. I was gonna go hammer toss. Uh, I was gonna go um the yeah. hammer throw for him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Basketball's irrelevant. Beach volleyball's irrelevant. Boxing. Um, Batman. Batman? Yeah. No, 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 no. Black um, uh, Black Wildcat. Batman. What? No, no, no. Wildcat. Wildcat? Yeah. Wildcat uh, was always a better boxer. If we're talking Wildcat pure boxer. boxing, Wildcat was a pure boxer and was far better at boxing than Bruce ever was. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Diving. <laughs> Do we dare say Aquaman? <laughs> <laughs> or Aqua Lad, either way. Okay. Um. Okay. Triple jump. Wonder Woman. Will... Ooh. Now the question is: Is it jumping or actually flying? <laughs> flying is no, not it, allowed. It's... <laughs> it's jumping. It's proper jumping. Yeah. 
My my eh, vote eh. is on. Um... I think I'm gonna go Vixen. Vixen? Yeah. Well, oh. she can harness animals' powers, so she can just like harness a kangaroo or something. Fair point. Um... Wouldn't that be cheating, though? Hey, if they're using their powers, there's no. Ch yeah, that's what her power is. Okay, yeah, high jump. Sorry. Ant Man. Ant Man for high jump. Um... <laughs> when he shrunk. <laughs> wow. Um. Okay. I thought it'd be him. I thought. See, I thought Ant Man would be the real race, and then there's just three other ants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, discus throw. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Yeah. Or Captain America. Oh well, no, actually, no. Maybe, maybe Cap. Maybe Cap, because they both. Cap? I'm going with be, Cap. Uh, it'd be between those two. Okay, Javelin. Wonder Woman for Javelin. Wonder... She doesn't have a spear, though. You think she wouldn't have grown up throwing one? Yeah. yeah see, my, see, my thing is, I'm going, the... Aquaman, I'm going Aquaman on this because he throws his spear all the time. Yeah. Okay, fencing. Fuck, who uses a sword? <laughs> Jedi, maybe? Red. I thought we were keeping this superhero no, no, related. It's, it's, it's sci-fi related. It's anyone from anywhere. Oh, then, yeah, Jedi. Jedi? <laughs> okay, golf. My vote's on Thor. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking the Hulk. <laughs> oh, my God. No, no, no. The Hulk... mean, uh, that would need to be a big-ass driver. <laughs> <laughs> he just gets Hulk-sized golf clubs. <laughs> Um, no, 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 no! I take it back. Golf. I'm voting on Ronan Dex from Stargate Atlantis. Oh God. Um, let's see. Uh, judo. I'm going Jack on through the Stargate. <laughs> Just uses a Stargate to get a hold one all the time. So judo. <coughs> see, then I give it a Batman. Batman. No, I was actually thinking uh, Rowan from Stargate Atlantis. Ronan from Stargate Atlantis. Yeah, that'd be an interesting fight. Um, let's see. Shooting. Boba Fett. <laughs> um. Now, which shooting is this? Because there's multiple things. It's like, it just says, it's like the skeet shooting, it, or is it the air rifle? It just says shooting. It doesn't. It's not very specific. It probably means the skeet. Hands, hand shot first. Hand shot first. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, now, I'm just going to give everything water related to Aquaman by default. No. Just... Oh my god. Aqu no, no. Aquaman and Aqualad doing synchronized swimming. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Table tennis. The flash beats the flash. Tink, 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 oh. tink, 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 that would be a nightmare. Let's no, no, that's just tennis. Replay. That's just tennis. <laughs> just normal yeah. tennis is that. So, so anyway, it, by the sound of it, it looks like overall Marvel wins all the medals. Um, no. Then Star Wars comes second, and then DC comes last. No, it's the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, we'll have to we'll have to actually look at that maybe next week and do it properly. So that was kind of fun. Um, so, anyway. Actually, look deeper into it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's about it for this week's podcast, the fourth last. Um, well, actually, I will. I'll get a list of actual events and we'll break them down next week into who we think would win and why. So, that'd make, that'd be pretty fun. Um, so, that's it for this week's podcast. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you check out Perry County Hobbies when he's finished rebuilding. Um, it should be fairly soon. Uh, make sure you check out Garrison 7 and Deadliest Fandom. We've got some really cool stuff coming to Deadliest Fandom in the next couple of weeks, so make sure you keep an eye on it. Uh, check out facebook.com slash save sci-fi for all your save sci-fi related stuff, and make sure you look up this podcast on YouTube, Stitcher, iTunes, and wherever else podcasts live. We actually found a couple of pages recently we'd never heard of that the podcast is on. Don't know why it's there, but it is. So, yay us, I guess? Who knows? Anyway, that's it from us here. We will catch you next time. Bye. 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 I actually got finished with a little bit of time left, dude. Uh, 
do da. <laughs> there is still ten seconds left. Do da do da day. So hey, Stuart, really? It's time. It's time for your impersonation, Stuart. Meow. Meow.